Welcome to Frontline. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add in your users and customize what your users have access to in the Pro Standards Tracker. Underneath Manage, Manage Users, you would just add a new user in. There's only a few fields that are required, and you'll see that by that asterisk here. Their first name, last name, email, phone number, their employee number. You can give them a title. You can add in their sex, race, date of birth, height, weight. This information is good to put in, especially if you are utilizing the use of force section, because when you go to do a use of force report, it's going to automatically fill in that information for you. So you don't have to manually put it in every single time. You can add their groups or shifts in here. This is how you get to customize those groups or shifts. This assigned supervisor is like a suggested supervisor for this user role. So basically this is just saying every time Heather goes in to do a use of force report or any of the other reports and needs to send it up the chain of command, it's going to automatically have Russ's name popped up suggesting that she pick Russ first and then Russ will send it up the chain of command from there. She will still have to add this assigned supervisor into that section. She can also add additional or she can just not select Russ at all. So it's just a suggested supervisor. Status active, not active. If somebody moves, retires, whatever it is, don't delete them. Just mark them not active. That way no historical data gets deleted and it just takes their name out of the drop down list to choose from. And also they wouldn't be able to use their username or password to log in. You can put in their date hired. You're going to give them that username and a password and then a user role. In this soft, this software platform, we have three different user roles. Admin has access to everything. They can customize, they can delete. Supervisors have access to the awards, compliments to file a complaint, file a conduct or wellness, file a use of force, or file a vehicle pursuit, or one of those four that they've been assigned to, to review. They can't just go in and view any of that information unless they are actually assigned to that as a supervisor. Supervisors do not have access to the reports and they cannot customize or delete anything. An employee role only has access to their, to file a use of force report or file a vehicle pursuit or their own information within that employee roster. Now, regardless of user role, anybody can be a complaint approval. So on that complaint, if you are filing one and setting it up the chain of command, it'll go to the assigned supervisor, a reviewing supervisor, and then you're approved by. Whoever that approved by person is going to be in that complaint section, make sure to mark them here. That way their name shows up in the drop down list to choose from. Same for your vehicle pursuits and your use of force reports. Whoever that approved by person is going to be in your vehicle pursuits or that use of force report, make sure they are marked here. That way their name shows up in the drop down list to choose from in either of those reports as approved by person. This next section is for if you mark them as a supervisor, you get to choose whether or not they have access to the alert section here at the top. If you give them access to that, they can view those alerts, they can disposition those out, close them and make comments. Also as a supervisor, you can choose whether or not they have access to the reports. So if you want them to have access to the reports here at the top, make sure to give them access to that here. Supervisor access to their own details. If you mark that here, that means when this employee logs into the employee roster, they will be able to see how many of each compliments, complaints, conduct, wellness, uh, vehicle pursuits, and use of force they have, but also a grid view of those details and be able to open up those reports in there. If you do not have this marked, they will just see a number count for each of those. They won't actually be able to open up that report. This last section here, manage modules visibility for supervisor. This really allows you to pick and choose what your supervisors have access to and who they have access to and how they have access to those modules. No employee roster access means they have no access at all to see anybody's information within pro standards. Supervisor access to the entire roster means that every employee you've added into pro standards, they would have access to. Supervisor access employee roster only means that they have access to that user role level below them. So supervisors can't see other supervisors information. Here at the bottom, you get to choose which modules they have access to and how they have access to those modules. 
No access means they don't see any information regarding that module. Grid view only means that they get the basic information regarding that module. And view access means they can click that view icon and open up that report to see that full incident report. Also, you have the employee exclusion list tab here. So this will allow you to mark employees that you don't want that supervisor to have access to. So maybe you do give them access to the entire roster, but you don't want them to have access to like the chief and the deputy chief. Go ahead and mark them here. Then this supervisor will have access to everybody except for those that you've have marked here. I'm going to show you exactly what this user would look like when they log in as a supervisor role. So Heather here, I have her marked as supervisor access employee roster only, which is going to be that user role level below them. For your modules, I gave her no access to the complaints, conduct, and wellness, grid view only to the use of force and vehicle pursuit, and view access to the compliments and awards. So now when I log in as Heather here, I'm going to go to the employee roster. It'll show me only those user role levels below me. You'll notice I can't see anything to do with the conduct, wellness, or complaints. If I view on a specific employee, you still won't see anything to do with those conduct, wellness, or complaints. You can see with the compliments and awards, since I gave her view access, you can actually click on the icon and view that whole report. With the use of force and vehicle pursuit, I gave her grid view only, so she's only going to see that basic information regarding that incident. So that is how you set up your users and what your users have access to in Pro Standards. Thank you for watching this video.